Today in this 2013 Subaru Forester, we're going to show you the current T connector vehicle wiring harness with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56040. What this wire harness does is it takes battery power that comes from this red wire right here. The signals from the wires come into the box or module, and the signal gets copied, and then it goes out to your trailer. This will protect your vehicle wiring harness from any shorts or damage from your trailer wiring. The parts that you get are the wire harness here at the module and the port that fits into the vehicle. It also has a fuse holder, which comes with complete with the fuse. A very nice long length of four pole wire. And this is our four pole end right here. And it also comes with a cap. To help with the install, it comes with some zip ties, a ground screw for the white wire at the ring terminal, an adhesive to mount the module to some sheet metal on the inside. This is part of our surface mount technology. For our install, we won't be needing the extra butt connectors or the ring terminal. To start off our install, we need to get inside the vehicle and remove all the floor coverings down to the bare sheet metal. This tray needs to be popped loose, pull from the bottom, and go up. There you go. All right, with this panel removed, this is our connection point we need to look for. We'll take a wire harness, we can plug it right together. Next, I'll we'll take a moment to ground my uh, white wire here to ring terminal. Where two pieces of metal overlap is a good spot to do that. So you have plenty of material to drill into. Let's take a moment to add our fuse to the fuse holder. Put the cap back on. Now I'll find a location to mount the module. We'll use the adhesive on this half. I think we'll install it on the sheet metal right here. I'm going to clean off the area of the sheet metal with some rubbing alcohol and some water. Mix of 50-50. will work. We'll add adhesive to our module. Then we'll attach it to the sheet metal. Okay, we'll take a moment to bundle up our wires. I think I'll take the factory wire harness and zip tie it to our new wires right here. We'll take our four pole wire. We'll go ahead and route it along this section right here. Over the top of a threshold and just for now, we'll just loosely route it towards spare tire. Trim up our zip ties and we'll put everything back together. Put this back into place. Make sure we have plenty of length of wire. And reinstall the fasteners. Put this back over top of this panel here and reinstall the rest of our components. Basically, we'll make sure we have easy access to our wires. Alright, for floor coverings in place, we need to use it. We'll simply pull it out. And when we do, we just go pull it out to the outside and shut the hatch on it. The door seal is thick enough, it won't hurt anything when you close the door. Just stay away from the latch in here. That'll match the wires and you'll be starting over. We'll go ahead and test it now. It's always a good idea to try it out with a light tester before you try it with your trailer to verify it's working. We'll take our ground clamp from our tester, put it to the white wire. Then we'll check the brown wire. That's our running light circuit. Our left turn signal will be a yellow wire. And our right turn signal will be the green wire. We'll check for a brake signal with a constant signal on the yellow and green wires. With everything working, that'll finish it for the Kurt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56040, on this 2013 Subaru Forester.